This emotional support robot for seniors called Jenny responds to commands and can sense the difference between being touched, caressed, and held. So AI is not like sentient intelligence for the robot. So the tools that we're using relate to the safety of the robot and how it's choosing how to behave at any given time. And then in the future, we'll add uh, more sensors, process a lot more data to increase the level of realism, but also to get into more things like health and safety monitoring. The new humanoid robot Neo is being piloted in homes with the ability to do household tasks, talk, teach, and entertain. All of this is modern AI applied to robotics. And what really is exciting about NEO and the pilots that we're starting to roll out now is to have these systems learn among people. As more and more AI robots make their way into homes, they have the potential to help alleviate the worldwide shortage of caregivers for the elderly, a robotics market estimated to be worth nearly $3 billion. One key advantage of an AI robot assisting the elderly is patience. So having uh, a robot or something that uh, could be there to work alongside with the person and um, like help them engage them in conversation. When you're talking to a robot, you don't have to worry about like making mistakes because the robot's not going to judge you. And no matter how you work with the robot, the robots always respond with you in a positive way and they don't get frustrated. Well, yeah. Hung is the founder of UBC's Innovation in Dementia and Aging Lab, which brought these AI robots, Mango and Kiwi, into senior care homes. They studied whether people with dementia enjoyed interacting with these newcomers, which don't talk, but can make sounds, wave, move around, and react to human care. Not everyone likes it, but for those people, they like it. They, they develop a bonding, they open their hearts, you know, they welcome the robots, and they I see lots and lots of potential and benefits and about trust, you know, people need to have like accept the robots. So not everyone have a robot in their home and like living with them. So having a robot to live with you and um, that, you know, that bonding and acceptability is really important. Trust needs to be developed over time. Some people, including staff and caregivers, didn't always feel comfortable with the image capturing abilities of various robots. In fact, in experiments with telepresence robots, Hung said people would often unplug it and put a paper bag over the device's head to make sure it wasn't peaking. There's ethical challenge. It's up to us what we want the robots to do and what's okay and what's not okay. Some experts say the more data a robot captures about the elderly person being taken care of, the better it will be able to anticipate needs. But that could very well lead to a day when an AI robot knows as much about your health and well-being as your own family. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.